Thanks for joining me here today. Today I'm going to do a quick film review for the film The Predator, which is by Shane Black. This film is, for me, very different to a lot of Shane Black's other films in that it's a sort of existing franchise which they are following on from the previous events in the films and kind of continuing the story. And I know Shane Black more for original features, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and The Nice Guys, that kind of stuff. Now, the film stars Thomas Jane. It also stars Keegan-Michael Key and Olivia Munn. I love Olivia, Olivia Munn. I think she's, you know, she's one of, for me, the most beautiful women in the world. I haven't been that impressed with her acting, but I thought she was pretty decent in this. And generally, the ensemble cast is, is pretty good. The main guy, I can't remember what his name is, and he's fairly forgettable. He's like a sort of Jai Courtney type, you know, just a lead guy, but nothing really memorable about him. And... We're now following in the footsteps of the previous Predator films, except humans know about Predators, the military have their eye on them, and there's a whole kind of investigation going on into Predator activity on the Earth. And you know, no spoilers. But it's, it's a bit of a convoluted mess of a film. There are some things the film does quite well. Uh, some of the humour's good. It does go too far with it though. It's, it's got far too much humour and a lot of that humour doesn't stick. It's very crude. It's, you know, it's kind of relentless. But some of it's quite good. There was some last in the cinema when I watched it. It's got far too much going on in terms of plots. There's plots about DNA. There's plots about saving the earth. There's plots about uh, different predators fighting other predators. There's all sorts of stuff going on in this film. And if you were to try and sit down and actually explain to someone what the film is, you would be moving off in different tangents all over the place, just trying to explain what the main point of the film is. To me, it felt like they basically filmed three films, The Predator and two sequels, and then put them all in a blender and edited them that way and chucked out one film. And it does feel really, really quite messy. It is a... You know, if you turn your brain off, it is the kind of film you can go along with some popcorn and have a, you know, maybe a fun time watching the cinema, but it's it's not going to challenge you. It's not the kind of thing that I think you'll come back to again. It's certainly nowhere up there with the original Predator. It's nowhere, it, it reminds me of, the film it reminded me of was Alien Covenant. I hated Alien Covenant because I thought it was dumb, because I expected more from the Alien series. I don't expect more, weirdly enough, from the Predator series. I think the Predator's always been a bit more tongue-in-cheek. And therefore, I was quite happier when this film went very dumb, very stupid, very early, and then maintained it. So, you know, all in all, I, I, I had some fun in the cinema. I can't deny that. But it's never a film I'm going to go back and watch again. And I certainly wouldn't recommend it to anyone who is looking for anything getting close to the original Predator film. So I give the film a 5 out of 10. It's a, it's a very average film. It's fine to watch. Nothing really, you know, shockingly bad about it, but a bit of a mess and all over the place in terms of its direction. So if you've seen the film, look forward to hearing from your comments down in the, uh, in the comment section below. Interested in whether other people have different opinions or similar opinions on this to what I had. Uh, if you find it as disappointing as I do as a Shane Black film, then, you know, love to hear from other people on that one as well. If there's any questions you want to ask me about films or anything else along those lines, you can contact me through my email address, which is julietisnoir at gmail.com, or you can get me through my website, which is julietnoir.uk. Thanks for joining me here today. Look forward to talking to you again soon. And as ever, bye. Bye.